Hi guys, it's Silver Daisies again. It is a hey, let me let me lower this. Let me lower the TV. Yeah, it is a Sunday, and I'm here with an upload because I am doing my hair. I like Sundays. Are the, I feel are the best days to do your hair because Saturdays you literally that's the first day of the weekend that you have and you just want to chill now i already like um did my deep conditioner whatever so i wanted to make a gel for like um for moisture reasons so i'm going to show you guys how to do a diy flaxy gel so that you guys don't have to break the bank break the bank going to buy expensive gel at the shops so yeah i literally just woke up i haven't like washed yet or anything so please don't judge me even though i'm i'm glowing already in the morning anyways let me get to showing guys how you make the flexi gel so as you can see like you guys don't need that much you just need like water i like to put like um one part flaxseed to um two parts of water so i'm gonna fit another cup of this one cup of water like a small pot and then you have the actual flax seed it may say um also linseed the thing is that it's the same thing basically and i buy this from the brand is lifestyle food and i buy this from this chem in like the like the healthy living section and it's quite affordable i can't remember the price right now but it was very cheap it was probably under 30 rand for like this big bag of flaxseed and i bought this last year and it hasn't even finished yet because what you can do um i'll actually show you i'll actually show you guys i actually decided because i just poured in the water in it and i was like since like my mom already washed her hair and i'm only the i'm going to be the only one who's going to use this i'd rather just use like the full cup of water and like half a cup of the flax seeds because i don't want to waste it sounds like i'm pouring cereal okay I'll probably just use that much like it's not even halfway like i think it's like a third of the way through this cup and i'll just put that in Just get all of that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Still don't want to come out. Okay. There we go. There. And then I'm going to move this to the stove. Make sure that your stove is very hot and that you're ready to stir. So I'm going to be stirring with a um with a tablespoon and you just need to like keep on stirring so that it doesn't burn. You'll start to notice that when it starts to um fully cook that the since like before when like I put the flax seeds into the water. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it was like a sort of resting on the top instead of sinking. So when it um starts to cook, the flax seeds sort of like go towards the bottom, and then once it starts to really cook, and then they'll start floating to the top again. Okay, I'm starting to bubble now. That's when you know that I it's it's cooking. It's turning into gel now. When it starts doing this bubbling. And just be careful, like, when you're stirring this, just be careful that you don't burn, like, your hands with the steam. And then after a while, you'll see that the bubbles start to become less than they were before. And then this is when, like, 
the gel is really thickening and once you've like noticed that how it like it, in the beginning it was foaming very like it was foaming a lot and then now that you see that the, bu the bubbles are coming less and less you can decide when to stop like you can stop here if you want a more oh the steam is getting on my phone you can stop here if you feel that i am done i want a lighter gel or you can keep going if you want a more thicker gel for me personally i'm going to stop here because i don't want my gel to be that thick yeah that's why you must always when you're cooking this you must always start your flaxseed on like um a very high temperature so that it doesn't take a lot to cook and you must always continuously continue to um what do you say stir the flex seeds otherwise they're gonna stick to the bottom so you know, like how you would um continuously like stir white sauce that's how you would stir this yeah i feel that this is fine now and then i'm just gonna take this off and then i'm going to drain the flex seeds from the actual gel Okay, so I've got myself a bowl and a trainer. And what I basically do, make sure you extract this while it's still hot because if it cools down, the gel cools down as well. And then you can't extract the gel from it. And basically, what I'm going to do is just do that so that the gel can come away from the flat seed. Do this while it's still hot. And then you'll see at the bottom. That it's coming out oh why is it not focusing there we go it's coming out okay once you feel that you've extracted enough gel and you can't go any more what i do is i'm going to pour this over the cup And then once that is done, you have your gel here. Let me take a fresh spoon. You have your gel here. And this is what your gel is going to look like. If you don't have a um, something like this, which you can extract um, the flaxseed well, stockings also work. What you're going to do is take a, like an old um, pair of stockings and then basically what you do is that the process you like you cut like maybe um you see the bottom of the stockings where your foot is supposed to do you cut that off and then you put um the flax seeds inside yes while they're still hot um and then what you're going to do is like squeeze them down and then the gel will come out like that but i find like that is very messy towards me and i'd like your like ach, you like the gel is very slippery it's a very good gel now so like as you're doing that your hands are like slipping and sliding when you're extracting it with a stocking but it's very good because it gets like a lot of the gel extracted but yeah if you don't have like what i used like you don't have like a strain or anything like that stockings is another thing to use and then as you see these flax seeds like this i'm not going to throw them away you do not throw them away what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a plastic, wrap them up, and then I'm going to um, put them in the fridge for the next time that I use them. Because it's not something that you use for one time and then you're done with it. You honestly can use it over and over again until like you see that, okay, the gel that's being extracted, like it's it's no longer... It's no longer like how it was the first time but yeah as i said as you can see like there is some gel left in there that's why most people prefer to use the stockings but for me it's your oh, it's too messy for me i don't like it but yeah it looks like that and as you can see it's a very good job you can add like any type of oil that you want to this whether you want to put like coconut oil or you have like a certain brand or type of oil that you use you can add this to that and then it will moisturize your locks
always been the MO since the start of this And now I'm on a mission like I'm Artemis, hey. We gon' turn the crib into a club like